the Los Angeles Chargers. That's the next bunch up. And their win total is now at nine and a half. Do you realize that has gone up an entire game since last week? That's insane to me. I don't know what could possibly happen to make you jump up from eight and a half to nine and a half. And yet, here we are. Nine and a half to go over is minus 110. To go under is minus 120. To win the division, plus 550. Tied, same odds as the Broncos. To win the AFC, they are plus 2,000. To make the playoffs, plus 100, even money. To not make the playoffs is minus 130. They are projected favorites in 11 games. 11 games, and yet the win total sits at, you know, nine and a half, and it was at eight and a half just a week ago. They've got the 11th easiest schedule out there. Last season's win total was a push, but the under has hit in four of the five prior seasons. New coach, Brandon Staley, did wonders with the Rams. Very innovative system that he ran. They were top four DVOA in rushing defense and passing defense, which is very impressive. Uh, Justin Herbert, I mean, he's a rock star, led the NFL in pass rating under pressure as a rookie, which does not happen. But the question now is, is Herbert's success sustainable? We have seen sophomore slumps before. You know, he was kind of thrust into action with no real plan for him at the very beginning of the season because of the injury to Tyrod Taylor. I, I'm just curious. Uh, the defense was not great in 2020. And and then, of course, they lost Melvin Ingram. They lost Perryman. They lost Hayward. I, I don't know what to expect from the defense this year because uh, they didn't replace them with, you know, names. But, you know, Brandon Staley knows what he's doing with the defense, so we'll see. The offensive line should be better after they overhauled. Uh, they brought in draft pick Rashawn Slater. They signed a couple other guys. I, I like the Chargers, but I could see people figuring out Herbert this season more so than last season. I'm I'm going to go under the 9.5. I've got this team at 9 and 8. This is not a, a strong play for me, but I I had them going over the 8.5, and, and now I've got them going under the 9.5. So jumping an entire game just kind of threw me off uh, from last week because we, we got off of our schedule. And, yeah, 9.5, I'm going to have to go under. That that game jump just kind of kind of jumped out at me. I like this team. I don't, I, I don't know, I know why. Do. <laughs> I, I normally am afraid of rookie head coaches. I think they're really talented. I think where they were weak, they got better. They got a lot better. I got them going over. I I have this team 12 and 5. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, you love I, Justin Herbert. I really think this team is good. Well, it's not just Justin Herbert. Like, I think this team is really good. I mean, Derwin James is coming back, but I think he's played, what, five games since 2019? Yeah, but if he like, comes back and he's healthy, then it doesn't matter how many games he's played, he's going to be a stud. Yeah, I think you know, I think you're right. If Joey Bosa's there and he's healthy, then he's going to be a monster and he's going to wreck people. That's just what these guys do. It's what they do for a living. I, I trust the, the mindset and the defensive scheming that they're going to bring to the team that they haven't had in a long time. I, 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 I like the offensive hires. I like... I like what they're doing with this roster. A guy that everybody in the world has forgotten from the offensive side of the ball is Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen is still one of the best receivers in football, and we've just somehow forgotten his name. Keenan Allen's probably going to lead the league in catches. Okay, like yeah. there's a chance he's probably going to lead the league in, in in yards. Okay, like he's he's one of the most dangerous weapons in the league, and we don't ever talk about him at all. He's still there. That is a little strange, right? He, he's dealt with some injuries, though, right? Yeah, a few. Not a lot. Now, he's never been, like, injury-prone. It's never been long-term. Missed a lot of games, things, I don't think. Yeah, no, Keenan Allen is, is definitely, he just gets overlooked for whatever reason. He's, he's way the hell out there on the other team in L.A. Before that, he was in San Diego. The, the, the Chargers have just always kind of been a boring team. Yeah, and they, he's kind they of really just have. a boring player. It's just he's not a guy that anybody thinks about or talks about ever. They uh they have sold more tickets for the Chargers than I believe they have at, at not any point since they were in San Diego. Uh, well, I take that back. Since San Diego, yes, this is the most since season San tickets Diego. for sure. But even you know dating back quite a bit, like they they have really got some hype around this team now. Uh, Keenan Allen last year played. 13 games, or sorry, 14 games, had 147 targets, 100 receptions, 
uh, had 992 yards and eight touchdowns. So was uh, was pretty good. He missed a couple of games. Is what it is. But yeah, he's. I mean, he's a stud. He's an absolute stud. He has I just been in the think league. He's a guy that nobody talks about. I think this team's really good. They lost Hunter Henry. Yeah, Hunter Henry hadn't played in a while. Okay, yeah, he played for him last year. He wasn't great for him last year. He was coming off a big injury before that. He missed the entire year the year before that. So, like all of these guys that they're missing, like they lost Melvin Ingram. Melvin Ingram hadn't played a lot in the last two years. So, like it's easy to say that's a big loss because he's a great player, but he was great when he. He played, but if he never plays, then how great was he for your team? Yeah, yeah. No, you're not wrong. So I am. I am curious about this. I like Brandon Staley. Uh, I like the fact that they got a guy from the Rams that did something different than what McVay does. Yes, like, yes. That's, that's that's what I like. Go get the. Don't go hire the guy that does the thing under the genius. Go get the other genius on the team that the other genius doesn't know anything about. Yes. The other genius, McVay, knows nothing about uh, defense. He doesn't call defense. Yeah. This guy does. And the defense was great. And you could say, well, they were great because they got Aaron Donald and they got all these other weapons. That's fine. Chargers got weapons, too. I promise you, he's going to figure this stuff out. He's a really smart guy. I think you're right. I, think I like this team. Right. I, I might, I, it might be this one of those. It's just one of those things where it's really hard to win all the time. Okay, People look at what the Patriots did over the 20 years that Tom was there, and they just assume that, Patrick's going to do this. Aaron Rodgers is going to do Like, all these other guys that are really good are just going to replicate what Tom did because that's what we saw for the last 20 years. Yeah. Before yeah. that, nobody had ever done it before. Peyton Manning didn't do this shit, okay? So why do we think that the second best quarterback that we ever saw in the last 25, 30 years would, you know. Would just dominate. These, these guys would be better than that? Like, let, let's give them the Peyton Manning standard, Okay. Even that doesn't have you winning the division every year. Even that doesn't have you just making the Super Bowl all the time. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.